It is not something you see every day. A bear up a tree in a Tampa neighborhood. People who live here woke up to the big surprise, and the critter caused a big commotion as animal experts showed up to capture it. The Florida black bear was spotted in a yard on Broad Street West, just off Habana Avenue near Himes. News Channel 8's Paul Lamison is joining us live from that neighborhood tonight. He was there for the whole ordeal this morning. What a scene. Paul? Yeah, Keith, it was a spectacle here. Now, let me set the scene for you. This is a tree-lined neighborhood, plenty of houses, plenty of people. And take a look back up here. That's where the bear was first spotted. It was a resident who lives here who alerted authorities. I took the dog in the backyard, and it's all fenced in. And the dog ran to the oak tree and started barking. And I noticed that when I looked, there was a bear on the ground. That's right, a bear, a Florida black bear in Eloy Perez's backyard. He called 911. I told him there was a bear in my backyard, and I guess I thought I was crazy. But he was serious. The bear was just feet from his back door. Soon, a Hillsborough County Sheriff deputy was there. He said, where's that bear? And I don't they both saw the bear. The bear saw them and turned and climbed up an oak tree. Oh, he said, yeah, that's a bear. <laughs> Perez's home looked like a crime scene. I saw, you know, the police cars and all that, which is unusual for this area. And uh, I stopped and I said, what's going on? And lo and behold, there's the bear up in the tree. And the bear in the tree became the sight to see in the neighborhood. I've seen a lot of animals around here, but not, not, bears. The, not a bear. <laughs> and an issue for the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission. Bears are rarely a problem for people, but when they get into urban and suburban environments, they can learn some bad habits. That's amazing. I mean, that's a big one. That's it not is a, that's big. Not a little bear. And the bear had to go. So a dart was filled with tranquilizer to sedate the bear to get him out of the tree. Well, I was aiming for the hind quarter. That gives the, the least amount of damage to the bear. Then it was time to wait. Finally, he fell. He was carried out of the yard, loaded up for transport, taken back to an area more suited for a bear. I'm 70 years old. I've never seen anything like that in the city. Now, it was quite a sight, and you might have noticed in the video the bear had a tag on his ear. That's because that bear had been caught before. About a year ago in downtown Orlando, they caught him. They took him up to the Ocala National Forest, put him there, and that's where he started from Ocala down here to Tampa. Now they're going to take him back up to Ocala, but this time they say they're going to take him a little further north, and maybe this time he'll stay there. Back to you, Keith. He's a traveling bear. He likes to move around, apparently. Yeah, he uh, but he's okay, right, Paul? I mean, I know he falls and he hits the ground and all that, but he's okay? Yeah, he's okay. What they yeah. do is they stand underneath the tree with a tarp, basically, and when he falls, he lands in the tarp. They catch him, but they said he's a big enough bear. He's almost 300 pounds. Wow. So the fall really didn't hurt him. He fell asleep. They had to use a little more tranquilizer than they like. But that's because of all the excitement with us, the cameras, everybody. Yeah. But the bear's fine. He's on his way to Ocala. And with probably a big hangover come tomorrow. Thank you, Paul. Uh, here's a little more information about Florida black bears. It is the only species of bear in Florida. At one point in the 1970s, there were as few as 300 in the entire state. But the population has grown since then. State wildlife officials believe there are now between 2,500 and 3,000 black bears in Florida. A 10 